Hi, I'm Darren Newville. I'm the district manager with the East Otter Tail Soil and Water Conservation District. And uh, we're out at the outlet of Little Pine Lake uh, where we're finishing up a project to replace the dam here with a series of rock arch uh, rapids, uh, the weirs that we're putting in. Uh, we've been working on this project in conjunction with the DNR and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service kind of as a habitat project to allow for fish to get up and down the river a little bit easier. Um, this is also is replacing an old concrete dam that in the future would need to be replaced uh, or repaired um, and this will help with some of that stuff. So here in a little bit we've got uh, we've asked Howard Fullhart from the DNR. Uh, he, he's with the River Ecology folks of the DNR to talk a little bit about the project and why we're doing it and, and what's entailed with so, that. My name is Howard Fullhart. I'm with the Minnesota DNR uh, with the River Ecology Unit out of Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Uh, today we're standing out at, at uh, just below the Little Pine Outlet Dam. This is one of the projects that we're working on this year. So outlet dam, a lot of these outlet dams here in Minnesota um, and for instance on the Little Pine, Big Pine, Rush Lake and Otter Tail Lake they're actually DNR owned dams. So these are structures that over time uh, because we live in the northern climate up here with the uh, freezing and thawing uh, th these structures actually do need uh, maintenance over time um, and then other things is with, with being with the river ecology unit is both in, in our streams these, uh, these are actually fish barriers as well so Fish moving up from Little Pine Lake, from Big Pine up to Little Pine, uh, can't always make it up and down these these little stretches of river. Today we're we're at this site and we're we're putting in basically a series of rock riffles. Uh, we we basically building a rock riffle up right at where the dam is at, and we're also building a rock riffle series below the dam here now too. So uh, the whole intent of these projects is to create fish passage, and what we're trying to do is create basically create uh, a three percent or less slope so the river the river is creating through these rock riffles they're creating pools and, and we're creating just little habitat so both large fish and small fish can gradually migrate up and down the rivers people are kind of wondering well how why are we taking these dams out uh, how are we going to maintain our water levels and everything else then too so when we, get, when we have a project like this, like I mentioned before, one of the reasons we do this is, is, is the long-term longevity of these dams themselves is uh, over time we need to put repairs and everything else in this. So by removing these dams and replacing them with a rock riffle, we're basically putting in a, putting in a structure that uh, it is natural-like, but it is also kind of a maintenance-free structure. We've, we've been working with Houston Engineers, and they actually go through all the modeling, uh, both of high flows, low flows, you know, what's this thing going to look like if we had a 100-year event, 500-year event, but also what's, what's this going to look like when we have, you know, when we go through a drought period too to, to allow fish and, and, both, and to maintain our water levels on the lakes because it's important that we still maintain the water levels on these lakes because of the, the recreational use, the cabin owners and everything else then too. By taking rocks and, and basically taking very large boulders and pinching them together and creating little gaps in between for fish passage, uh, we're able to basically mimic what the, the old existing dam used to be able to do. So uh, with that, we're, we've basically engineered what, what looks like, a, what it, which is a natural rock riffle again, um, into what the, the dam itself used to do. Uh, the importance for us, for being from the natural resource aspect of it is, is again, we're creating fish passage here. Uh, Species of concern that we're looking at is the, the lake sturgeon in general. We're trying to, we've got long range plans of uh, restoring uh, lake sturgeon into the, the Otter Tail River system, into the Red River watershed itself. So the ultimate goal would be to, to have these fish being able to move up and down these systems and, and naturally reproduce and become a self-sustaining population. The importance of connecting these systems uh, for these fish to move up and down is not only just for the big fish, like I said, too, it's actually for our smaller fish as well. Um, so the benefits of this is we've taken an old, we're taking an old structure that probably needed some maintenance within the next 10 years. We've taken that and replaced it with a natural, natural rock riffle um, in a series of it. Uh, we've provided fish passage here now, not just for lake surgeon, but, but for walleyes, for uh, northern pike. For, for our game fish, uh, for white suckers, and even for our little small bait fish that are in this system. Uh, the other aspect is now we've provided more, and, and with that, that also goes for all other aquatic habitat now too, we've reconnected the system. So um, 
then we're also providing more more recreational opportunities then too for you know for kayakers and everything else so we're working on this project we're going to be going our next one we'll, we're going to be working on this summer we're going to be working on the big pine and then that's going to follow up with rush lake and then we're going to be also doing the otter tail lake outlet dam too this project was funded by the Minnesota Department of Natural Resource and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, the Minnesota DNR received their fundings through the Clean Water, Land and Legacy Amendments dedicated funds allocated through the Lassard Sam's Outdoor Heritage Council. Check back later this summer and follow along as we continue downstream on the Otter Tail River, replacing the dams on Big Pine, Rush, and Otter Tail Lakes.